Cardiac arrest. We have a working fire. Whole traffic shots fired. Tell me a little bit about the the family struggles that you saw in EMS. And did you get the sense that, uh, cause I don't know what Freedom House's schedule was like. Did you get the sense that um, EMS at Freedom House had that challenge on the interpersonal relationships the way that it does for, for those that still work in the profession today? Yeah, I think that was for me, one of the hardest parts of the job. It was a lot easier when, you know, my, it was just my wife and I, we had no kids and, you know, we, we could do whatever we wanted. And when I came home, I was free, you know, um, I mean, that's what got me through paramedic school is that I could just leave and, you know, my wife could take care of the dogs and no big deal. Um, you know, all that changes when you have kids and that, you know, it's exhausting. Um, as you said, I was working nights, so I would come home and, you know, here was this, this very young child. My, my wife worked a normal human schedule. And, you know, I'd, I'd get home at like five and he woke up probably at seven or whatever. Um, you know, that, that baby bottle schedule, uh, where he probably gotten up at 3 a.m. to eat and now, he, you know, he'll sleep till seven and just that feeling, that horrible, you know, like the headache and like your body just feels, I don't know, it's, it's like you're in the twilight zone. Even the nights that you know, were sort of, quiet, you come home and you're like, I still oh, yeah. just can't wind down. Yeah, because you, you spent the night, you know, sitting in a in an ambulance. It's not like, you know, I had a bed or something where I could really sleep, sleep. So you, you get home and you get maybe an hour and a half to two hours if you're lucky. And then you're up with a kid who's, you know, like you can't, you know, if you're responsible, <laughs> a good person, you can't, you don't want to just like dump them in a, in a playpen or something. So you're interacting with this child and then hoping that you get a long nap. I can remember him waking up from his nap sometimes you know he would take a short one and i would just lay there in bed and just be like furious you know because he'd nap for like maybe an hour and a half or two hours and just be like i can't i can't do this but then you go in and you get him and then you're up again so it was that was tough um it's it's, it's a that's a hard schedule to you know it's just it's exhausting this is your host christopher if you like today's episode give us a thumbs up and subscribe also click the bell for notifications on future content if you haven't already, check out our website, the UFCshow.com, ways that you can support us and find us on other platforms. Until next time.